I'm trying to keep these reviews under a minute, but I know that I'm going to blow it on this one because 98 Honda is such a fantastic film. Christian Bonda is a friend of mine, and I don't have enough time to tell you all the reasons why this is worthwhile. But I will tell you one really crucial thing that you need to know. You're going to hear about this film beyond me telling you about it right now. And that's because this film exists as a feature script. It was shot as a short so that when they get their funding, when, not if, when they get their funding, they can just go right ahead and shoot it. I guarantee you that this film will get its feature and it's going to be phenomenal and you're going to be able to go see it and it's going to be super exciting. It's written by Niles Abstin, seen over here playing the main character. You might be following him already. He's a stand-up comedian, so he's on a lot of social media. It's starring this character who you might recognize the actor played young Maximus in Fallout. He has promised that he will be peeking to Spider-Man 2. This is set in the past. Spider-Man 2 has come out. It's the weekend of its premiere. And this kid has promised that he will be taken to it. Unfortunately, due to a misunderstanding and errors, he is left in the care of his cousin's boyfriend, who is a weed dealer and is borrowing his girlfriend's 98 Honda. There's also a subplot about aliens. It's described as a sci-fi black stoner comedy. All of those things, all wonderful things coming together to make this movie. I can't wait to see what happens. It leaves you on a cliffhanger, the short does. So voracious need for this film to get finished. And I can't wait for people to be able to see it as well.